a very good morning to one and all uh, today i'm going to speak something about artificial seeds or synthetic seed production the brief procedures involved in it and the advantages and the limitations so artificial seed is nothing but it is a somatic embryo which is uh, uh, surrounded by an artificial endosperm and it is uh, covered with an encapsulated material so that is called as a artificial seed so uh, in the first picture i am showing uh, how artificial seed uh, structure look like and uh, how it actually appears to is shown in the uh, picture on the right hand side the large scale production of the somatic embryos and their encapsulation is referred to as artificial seed or synthetic seed production this is an alternative to the traditional micropropagation for production and delivery of the cloned platelets an artificial or synthetic seed is nothing but a bead of gel containing somatic embryo or the shoot bud and also along with it the nutrients growth regulators antibiotics etc needed for the development of the complete platelet from enclosed somatic embryos or the shoot bud the artificial seeds can be produced by two following ways one is the desiccated systems and second thing is hydrated systems in case of desiccated systems which are shown on the left hand side uh, it is nothing in this system the somatic embryos are first hardened to withstand the desiccation and then they are encapsulated in a suitable coating material to yield desiccated artificial seeds here aba treatment also improves the germination of these somatic embryos and somatic embryos may be hardened either by treating or coating mature somatic embryos with a suitable polymer followed by drying or they can be treated by with aba during their maturation phase uh, or alone and coming to hydrated systems in the hydrated systems the somatic embryos are enclosed in the gel which remain hydrated um, of the many gels which have been evaluated uh, till to date calcium alginate is found to be the most suitable uh, ones so calcium alginate is the best one for hydrated systems the hydrated seeds are sticky in nature and they are difficult to handle on a large scale they keep drying rapidly when they are exposed to open air and these problems can be resolved by providing a waxy coating over these beads and alternatively a desiccated system may be used to produce the synthetic seeds however it is not possible to store except at low temperatures and for a limited period and hydrated artificial seeds of the hydrated artificial seeds and then uh, they have to be planted soon immediately after they have been produced then the following steps uh, are showing how artificial seeds can be made easy so in the step 1 a 2% sodium uh, sodium alginate solution is filled in a burette then uh, allow uh, that 2% uh, solution to drip drop by drop uh, into a 100 millimolar calcium chloride solution here it is a calcium chloride solution into it the sodium alginate is allowed to drip drop by drop then now as the sodium alginate beads are dro uh, drops from the tips of the burette a somatic embryo is inserted into it with the help of a spatula before the drop falls into the calcium chloride solution so before it falls into uh, the calcium chloride solution a somatic embryo is inserted with the help of a spatula this is a somatic embryo with a spatula it is inserted before it drops into the calcium chloride solution calcium chloride solution then the speed becomes hardened as calcium alginate is formed so calcium alginate is formed then after 20 to 30 minutes after 20 to 30 minutes the artificial seeds are removed they are washed with water and used for planting so here washing is done and they can be planted what are the applications of these artificial seeds the seed production of these sterile plants can be made possible because here we are using somatic embryos the high efficiency in multiplication we can do it very fast and uh, to 
extent we require and then fixed uh, fixation of the hybrid figure where elimination the need elimination of the need for production of the inbred lines to produce an f1 hybrid because we are doing all in vitro in vitro we are doing all in vitro so with the help of somatic embryos then elimination of the need for edible seeds or the tubers for propagation and then multiplication of genetically engineered individuals which may be sterile and unstable during the sexual reproduction those can be done using this artificial seeds and then production of the virus and disease free plants is also possible and production of the seedlings by incorporating some useful chemicals in encapsulating materials can provide advantages of the real true seed because uh, as a seed coat uh, of the true seed protects the embryo and endosperm from attack of many pests and diseases or microbes so here also we can add some protective chemicals uh, to the encapsulating material to prevent it uh, from such kind of problems and even case of handling and transportation also can be uh, made as a true seed it can uh, grab the opportunity or advantage of a true seed then what are the limitations so the large scale production of high quality somatic embryos is in costly affair then it is resulting in poor germination because a number of reasons because of at lack of supply of the nutrients sufficient oxygen microbial invasions and mechanical damage of the somatic embryos then uh, there is also a possibility of occurrence of soma clonal variations which is also not a desirable thing and then special skills are required to carry out this work so you need a special uh, bundle of skills which are required to carry out this kind of uh, artificial seed production and what are the problems associated with artificial seeds so these are stable for several months requires the procedures for making the embryos quiescent quiescent in silence you need to silence the embryos without uh, going for germination or dying it should stay calm so that is a uh, you need to develop some kind of procedures for it then artificial seeds need to be protected against desiccation and recovery percentage is often low uh, due to incomplete embryo formations or difficulty in creating artificial endosperm so it's uh, uh, it's a reality is that uh, you cannot uh, create everything you cannot even create everything so when you are doing it you may lack something uh, in the endosperm so uh, that's a problem then embryo must be protected against microorganisms so there are various kind of uh, invasions as already told in the previous slides so uh, encapsulating material can be equipped with some kind of protective chemicals to uh, prevent uh, these microbial attacks so that's all for this uh, class so this is all about uh, artificial seeds or synthetic seeds uh, the take home message is the most suitable encapsulating material is calcium alginate uh, that's all thank you for listening